The Firin are one of the four playable races in Arc Age. With colourful fur, distinct ears and long tails, they are an anthropomorphic, cat-like people. Their racial bonuses are very themed in this regard. All falling damage is reduced by 20%, mimicking a cat's ability to land on all fours regardless of how they fall or how far they fall. Their other racial bonus is to increase climb speed by 30%, again a mimicry of a real-life cat's ability to climb just about anything they want to at a dazzling speed. Hunters and gatherers, nomads and warriors, the Firin roam the wilds of the world, striving to find purpose both on an individual and on a social level. To the Firin, each life is valuable and precious, playing a critical role in the natural world. Closely in tune with nature, the Firin are capable of communing with the elements. Additionally, each Firin raises, cares for, and is companion to a lion pet, which serves as a constant partner and mount. Once a great nation, the Firin were eventually shattered and brought to subjugation by the neighbouring Harani people. Many memories of their empire have faded away, and now the Firin fight every day just to survive, taking risks, fighting against their enemies, and honouring nature. To the Firin, honour is very important. Any kind of violence between Firin is against the law, and all disputes are expected to be resolved peacefully. Murder is a capital offence, punishable by exile from a Firin's home tribe. Each Firin tribe is led by a Mavra, who dedicates their life to protecting and running each tribe. They also have control of the tribe's standing armies, otherwise known as war parties. Firin lore is also steeped in magic, Communing with the elements, creating magical artefacts, and caring for sacred natural locations is often the duty of the shaman, spiritual leaders with incredible wisdom and knowledge of the elements. Other Firin dictate their lives towards protecting their tribes, and others are craftsmen and gatherers. Although there is no caste system, the Firin place heavy emphasis on honour and glory in battle. Many elderly Firin were once great warriors, and most young Firin aspire to become legendary warriors worthy of the stories of their people. Because the Firin value honour so much, they see death as eternal. Communing with spirits from beyond is possible, but necromancy, the raising of the dead, is one of the biggest offences to the Firin way of life. Almost every Firin abhors necromancy, and even being included in a necromancer's life can mean exile. Necromancy and its ramifications play a large part of the starting story for a Firin player. The Firin are nomads, and it is against their culture to have permanent homes. However, their close proximity to the Harani people has had an effect on them. Not only has the Harani way of life started to appeal to some Firin, who have begun to build homes, begin permanent farms, and keep larger amounts of livestock, but the ingenious Harani machines have had both beneficial and disastrous effects on the planes within which the Firin live. Constantly striving to find a place for themselves and carve a purpose in life, the Firin are vicious warriors and violent hunters. Many of them dream of stories of their empire, and with the planes of their current homeland in danger, it is up to the player to help stabilise the tribes and defend them against the Schema, a dark and mysterious cult attempting to destroy the Firin people with necromancy. However, the Schema may just be a puppet in a much larger game. If you'd like to learn more about the Firin, make sure to check out the link in the description of this video, which will take you to Gamepedia's Arc Age Wiki. That's it for now, thank you very much for watching.